What's up? <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. We're the Hendersons. I'm Megan. This, I'm Derek. This is my husband, Derek. And uh, this is our second vlog. Today, we're going to be talking more about the RV living journey that we're going on. And <laughs> the first thing is uh, we wanted to talk about our goals. So our first goal is to be moved out of our house by August 31st. And we have a lot of work to do before then. So we're going to be taking you guys on the journey. And lots of small projects to get accomplished before we can really fully commit ourselves out there, but we're excited to take them on. Yeah. Um, a few routine maintenance things on the RV and just getting the land ready and um, hopefully have electric, you know, by the end of this week, maybe into next week. Um, Our electrician is scheduled to come out Saturday and rewire everything on our pole and um, make it to where we can plug in our RV and yeah. hook everything up the way that we need it to be before we move out there. Yeah, we're pretty excited. Gonna, gotta put in a new well pump, a couple different things, but nothing too serious. We're, we're excited to start our new journey and um, just kind of see where things takes us. So we, the first thing is electric. So we are gonna check that off the list this weekend. Our electrician's gonna be out there on the property this weekend getting that all done and the second thing is our well uh, it just needs a few parts and my husband's pretty handy so he's gonna fix all that for us and then uh, we were super blessed because the land that we purchased it wasn't advertised with a well and septic but it actually has both so that yeah. saved us a tremendous amount of money and we're so thankful for that blessing it was actually a job that I went to clean up and ended up, uh, we just fell in love with it. So um, yeah. things just kind of progressed from there. Yeah, Derek, so. he does tractor work for a living. He does like dirt work, brush hogging, grapple, land clearing, stuff like that. We may have to take you along for some of that too as well. Yeah, so. and so one of his customers had hired him to clean up the land because they were wanting to put it on the market and we ended up being the buyers. So that was pretty cool to see that. That's how we purchased the land. Um, the next thing for the RV living like situation is that we purchased two batteries to put in the RV, just kind of routine maintenance, like Derek was saying. Just to kind of ensure that they're in good shape, they're new batteries, we're not gonna have to deal with problems later on just to make sure um just kind of it's a 1992 so we're just yeah, trying to be extra cautious and, um, yeah just kind of trying to stay out on top of things and it's two years older than us yeah <laughs> <laughs> and that's getting up there <laughs> um but yeah we we're both born in 94 and we're yeah. 28 this year so it's a 30 year old rv but um, we're definitely excited to give it the love that it needs and live it's, in it for a while. And Yeah, it's going to be a different experience than anything we've ever been a part of before. But um, it's new and it's exciting and um, we're just hoping for the best. Um, you know, sometimes you just got to embrace a little change to maybe have a fresh start at a new life, you know, and yeah, make some um, sacrifice. A lot of new changes are happening in our life, and you know, you never know unless you give it a chance. So, yeah, here we are. We're really excited. Um, but we're excited to take you guys along on the journey with us and like vlogging, you know, as we're doing things. I'm trying to get the hang of editing. Just, I have a whole new respect for YouTube vloggers because you know. editing is so much work, y'all. <laughs> Absolutely. It's so much work. And I apologize for the last video, how it was small. but um, And this could also be helpful to someone that's thinking about possibly doing the same thing, you know. Um, 
you know, learn from our mistakes or our experiences and yeah, for sure. um, maybe better, you know, your experience. And that that's our goal, just to help each other and help people and um, just show the whole process, show how kind of it works and what, how we put our own twist on it to make things just kind of work for us, I guess. Yeah, we're super excited and we just are excited to share this new I mean it's I was telling Garrett tonight like the transition time is such a scary time because you know it feels like so much sacrifice but I know that once we get all settled in it will feel much better and Megan's know. more into the normal but I'm pretty excited about changes I yeah. like progress well I don't know sometimes I like change and you're more yeah. Like scared to change. But. I'm hesitant at times, but I'm I'm pretty excited. This is uh, it's been a dream a long time for us. Yeah, this is something he's wanted to do for a long time, and it's a big step for our family. It really is. Um, Just seeing it all come together, and we've been praying about it for yeah, such a long time. A lot of like, pain. you know, and it just every kinda night happened. Um, yeah, for sure. It just kind of came together. And, um, we give all the glory to God. 100%. We do. Um, I can't tell you how many times we prayed about our housing situation yeah. over the past six months. And it's just crazy to see kind of how God just worked his hands like while we were sleeping, while we were working, while we were doing everything. And he just put it all together the way that God always does. And it's, Regardless of where life takes us, God always has the plan, and He's the one that tells us what to do. You know, everybody always says we make plans and God laughs. Well, yeah, it, it's definitely true. It's, it's so all true. it's all how He wants it to happen, not us. So, yeah, um, we're just kind of along for the ride. And I also wanted to update you guys a little bit on my journey with my bariatric surgery. So my first appointment was July 15th and I've already lost 50 or 15 pounds, 10 <laughs> pounds. I've already lost 10 pounds. Um, so in about a week and a half, I've lost 10 pounds and, um, I'm so thankful. A lot of you guys had all kinds of questions that I loved answering and Derek's been so supportive on my journey and I'm very proud of her. He's She's just been doing so great. He's been amazing. And just helping me, you know, be accountable. And um, a lot of you had asked what my pre-operative diet looks like. So basically it looks like 1,200 to 1,500 calories per day, um, 70 to 80 grams of protein per day, and uh, 40 to 60 carb, grams of carbs per day. Um, so those three things and then 64 ounces of water daily, um, just try to make sure to get with this 105 degree weather. It's not easy. It's not hard to get that much <laughs> water in it for sure. Yeah. It's been a lot, but it's not been a lot. It's actually been pretty smooth sailing so far, but, um, it's just, just a change. Thankful to be on this journey and I'm really proud of myself for the dedication that I've had to this program um, because really a lot of it is just a mindset thing and I think um, that's what I'm most excited for is because I feel like I've just exhausted all of my options on trying to lose weight and keep it off and um, I'm excited to use this surgery as a tool to overall just have it stick and yeah. be healthy the rest of my days and be a healthy mom and a healthy wife and um, chase my one-year-old everywhere. <laughs> she keeps me so busy. She's a wild woman. Um, but um, yeah, Derek's been so supportive and I'm so yeah. thankful. She's really shown a lot of self-discipline and you know, I, I'm very proud of her. She, she's really done good. Yeah. And made major progress just in the short amount of time. And I don't know if I said, but I have to lose 40 pounds before I get a surgery date. Um, 
And the reason that they do that is because uh, to help shrink your liver before surgery. Um, so that way it's easier to operate on you. And then um, I'm excited to also announce that I completed both of my nutrition classes. Yep. So uh, those are already done I, and checked off of my list here. Um, I completed those. So um, I have to do a psychological evaluation and that is scheduled for September 13th. So uh, basically they just make sure that you're in the right mindset for this and you know, it's truly a life changing surgery and yeah. journey to go Absolutely. on and OU Health, I just can't say enough good things about them. They just are so thorough and make sure that you're doing the right things and you yeah, know, keeping I mean, you accountable. When I went with you to your appointment, I mean, it was such a pleasant experience and yeah. the staff and everybody was just so friendly and informative and um, they, they really know what they're talking about and um, they're very encouraging. Um, it, it was just so great just to hear all the, you know, the good words from them and, you know, how they're really there to help you. I, I just, you know, I respect them a lot for that. Thank you. And then um, I have another progress check appointment in August um, to where I'll do another weigh-in and see where I'm at as far as my weight loss goes and also meet with the dietitian and nurse practitioner again to discuss um, my current eating habits and eating habits after surgery, how that will look because it will change. Um, and then um, on August 3rd, I'm going to be doing a lot of blood work and um, making sure that all of my blood work looks good. And I also have an endoscopy scheduled for August 9th. So um, it's gonna be a busy August and a busy September. I'm hoping to get a surgery date um, possibly in September, October. It just really depends on the timeline that I can get everything completed with the program. Um, but I'm so thankful for your guys' support and Derek's support. You guys have been amazing with all of your questions that you've been asking. Please continue to ask questions and um, maybe we can do like a question and answer soon. Or if you have any questions about the RV living situation. Yeah, we're, we're definitely here to fill, fill anybody in on any concerns they have or just to be informative. I mean, even if you don't have any questions, just following our journey. If it, if it helps you learn things just to, you know, take the step to do your own rest, your own journey, even if it isn't similar to ours, you know, um, you know, not every risk is going to pan out, but that doesn't mean it's not worth a try. Right. Um, it's worth investing in yourself. Yeah. Um, whether it's <laughs> moving an RV out in the middle of the woods or weight loss surgery, it's just, um, you're worth the risk. Yeah. And, you know, any way that we can help somebody and that we can help inform somebody from our experiences, we'd be more than happy to. Well, I think that's all we have for today. We are so thankful for y'all coming Absolutely. and watching our vlog and um, just <laughs> talking with us and being with us. So comment down below what you'd like to see on our vlog next and we hope to see y'all soon. Thank y'all. Bye.